careful. It's five in the morning. Uh, it's Sunday. Everyone's talking about Adani. Where is it? What is it? Let's go see. Yep, yep, yep. Great, mate. I'm going up to central Queensland and we're going to look at the Adani coal mine. So I'm doing a bit of a video too. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Council Airport where the local time is just Not this, far down. not this time of year, it's in a couple of weeks that they turn up, apparently. Charters Towers, cheers. So we had a wild and stormy night amongst the bats in Charters Towers last night. We're in central Queensland to check out the site of the giant Adani Carmichael coal mine. We're heading south towards the mine site uh, and the work camp. We're going to meet with activists, farmers and traditional owners opposed to the mine. We're going to have a look at where they're starting construction of the rail line to Abbott Point. Gregory Highway. For 200 kilometres, you'll hit the Baliano Crossing Roadhouse. I don't know if any pollies have actually been out on the mine site, which is pretty surprising, really. It's been in India. Well, Malcolm's been to India, Barnaby's been, you know, all over it like a rash, Matt Canavan, George Christensen, they all think it's the duck scuts, but... Palaszczuk, too. Has anyone actually been out here? I don't know. Queensland, Townsville, Charters Towers, and this is where Adani is, down the highway to where they're building the rail line, out west to the mine site, all of this in here, the Galilee Coal Basin. So this is it. This is the beginning of the Adani coal mine. What are you building here? I think you guys very well know. What is it? Come on. It's not much to look at yet. No. Is this the rail line? Is this, is, is this the rail line or the coal mine site? No, this is the rail line. Yeah, right. Yeah. Ain't no coal here. Greens MPs Jeremy Buckingham and Dawn Walker here. This mine can't go ahead and what we see is a pretty pathetic little effort up there to start a railway line that's never going to go anywhere because we will not stand by and see them build this mine. Explain yourself, why are you destroying our climate with this crazy coal mine? Stop Adani! We're going to stop you from destroying this wonderful land, the Great Artesian Basin, our climate for coal that no one really needs. Stop Adani! Stop Adani! Oh, I'm getting fried, let's Come get out on, of the sand. I mean, they must have been thinking, how the hell did they get out there? Like it's been a plane, two days driving on the road. Keep going around that way. Yeah, and then you just keep going up. Because we got told we got told to go to the Dimbimbula Road, whatever whatever that is. As you can 
see here, this is the expiration lease area. Uh, they're very sensitive about security and uh, scrutiny. And as you can see up in the tree here, hello Adani, they've Hi. got a camera. Hello, Hi, how Mr. are you? Adani. So they're keeping tabs on everyone who comes in and out of this site. So we've driven four hours across central Queensland and here we are. This is what everyone's talking about. The Carmichael Coal Project, the Adani Mega Mine, this is where it's happening. Gina Reinhardt wants a coal mine up the road as well. I think we've caught them by surprise. I think they think they're stuck out here in the middle of nowhere, but we've found them and I can tell you thousands of others will find them too because this country doesn't want another coal mine. They want Adani to bugger off. We'd like to see more of those solar panels, not burning rocks. How often do people actually come to this place? I think we're first. No comment, mate, on that. So, are think... we the first? Just tell us if we're the first. Be <laughs> remote. <laughs> It's a massive country. Finally, after hours of driving and close to sunset, we arrived at Moonamu Station, where we met with graziers very concerned at the impact of Adani on groundwater. With the sun going down and the moon coming up, we jumped back in the car and headed off towards Bowen, five hours away on the coast. So we're halfway through day three. We had an epic night last night. We dodged kangaroos, echidnas, Brahmin cattle. We got back in at about one o'clock. We're a bit shattered this morning, but we're getting up. We're going out to visit a tomato farmer called Dennis. You've got an amazing farm here. Yep. You worried um, about climate change? You can see climate change the effects here. Well, I definitely do worry about climate change. I think anyone that sort of uh, that sort of cares for the future generation would definitely not be for that Adani mine. You know, yeah. <laughs> not to uncovering new new coal deposit is, uh, is is pretty much madness. You know. It's, uh, Adani have bought the Abbott Point Coal Terminal here. They want to build a rail line all the way up to the coast so they can export coal up to India. We've got to be really quick here. We've just come down a private road. We're at Abbott Point Terminal. This is where they're proposing to bring the coal from the Adani coal mine. This is where we're exporting climate change to the rest of the world and clearly they want to export a lot of coal out of the Galilee Basin. Hundreds of millions of tonnes. Security turned up. Yep. We're going to have to go. We're, have we're to on go. a private road of trespassing. Okay. We're going to stop Adani. We're going to stop them building that rail line. We've got to fight for our climate. Absolutely. Stop Adani. How are you going? Through um, Leafside? Yeah, we're off. Yeah, we're no worries. Yeah, we're off. We're off. No worries. We're off. We're off. We're off. We're off. I'll call you out, okay? No worries. They're pretty serious, they're pretty edgy, but we're going to stop them. Let's go. Put the lettering on there, oh, that's really? all. Yeah, yeah. For our people, like, you know, this project, it isn't just, you know, from the pit, which is the Carmichael and Wang and Jangalunga. This project has an impact right across our whole country through the environmental and the cultural aspects of our lands. Representing from the coast all the way to yeah, the inland, you know, <laughs> and the waters. Yeah. But we're asking for, you know, Australia to really stand behind the First Nations people that are here and really bring us together and support 
that we will win this fight, yeah. definitely against the Dani. You yeah. will, you yeah. will, and we're standing with you. Mm. But for everyone, we're all in it together, yeah. you know, we're not doing it by ourselves, which is we're, we're fighting the number one fight, like we did in Bentley. If we could, everybody does that, don't care what colour, creed or anything, we, we can do it as one people. Mm. <laughs> It's midnight and we are heading to Adani. Convoy number here. Yeah, that was James Wheel to say we got you on the CDS. Morning has broken like the first morning. Yeah. It's 4.30, I'm just, uh, where are we? Just outside the Adani site, we've been driving in convoy. We're going to catch up with the rest of the crew and uh, direct action, here we go, stop Adani. So you're pleased to be here now? Oh, it's amazing to be here um, with these great people from all over Australia, uh, standing up for the climate. Uh, saying no to Adani. This is an amazing, peaceful, non-violent direct action. These people saying they they do not want the Galilee Basin turned into a massive new coal precinct. Coal! Don't dig it! Leave it in the ground, it's time to get with it! Coal! Don't dig it! Leave it in the ground, it's time to get with it! Coal! Don't dig it! Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Sydney originally. I uh, just moved to Newcastle a couple of years ago. And what are you doing here, mate? What am I doing here? Yeah. Stopping Adani, mate. Yeah? Why's that? Why's that? We just can't have it. Um, Adani's here to destroy culture, the environment, communities, the economy. Yeah, good on you. What's your name? I'm Curtis. Good on you, Curtis. Nice to meet you, mate. Jeremy. Jeremy. Good on you, mate. What's your name? I'm Al. Al, where are you from? Newcastle. Newcastle. Yeah. Good on you, you represent. Yeah, yeah. Why are you here? Uh, mainly because Adani is for profit. It's not good business practice. It's planning to destroy the part of the reef. It's planning to dig up this coal, which doesn't need to be dug up. So here we are on the site of the uh, rail line construction. So we're here to disrupt that process, uh, to say to Adani, to Queensland and Labor, uh, and to the federal government that we want to stop this coal mine. Climate emergency! We're with Audrey who has so bravely locked on to this gate. Audrey, you've come up from Melbourne, it's obviously really important to you. Yes, this is an absolutely very important issue uh, for me. I'm here to echo the voices of the majority of Australians. We do not want the Adani Carmichael, Carmichael mine because the burning of coal will really destroy this planet. The Great Barrier Reef will deplete re our water resources. So this is a very important issue. We want to protect the planet. We want to ensure the, that we have a sustainable planet uh, to pass on to future generations. Adani, stop! Adani, stop! Stop! Adani, stop! Adani, stop! Stop! Adani, stop! Adani, stop! Stop! Adani, stop! Stop! Adani, stop! Stop! Adani. So Dawn and I have just been arrested protesting the Adani coal mine. We've been charged with failing to move on. We're proud to stand with these activists who put their bodies on the line and the climate before the profits of crazy climate destroying coal mines. Always will be.
the Aboriginal land. Stop, Adani. Stop, stop, Adani. Stop, stop, Adani. Stop. Stop, stop. No, I'm a traditional owner on country, brother, and yeah. I don't take your order. I'm so. walking my land, so I'm going to start walking our country. You're going to walk? Way. That's fine. Yeah. All right. We're really proud to be part of the Greens and a massive social movement that for a generation has been ringing the alarm bells about the impacts of climate change. Bob Brown, in his first speech to the Senate, said climate change was an existential threat to our economy and our biosphere. It's really sad that Australia has become an international pariah and laughingstock when it comes to transitioning away from fossil fuels and acting on climate. Australia is now the Saudi Arabia of coal, the largest seaborne exporter of coal, and this Adani Carmichael project is a line in the sand. It's madness. We cannot open up a vast new coal basin in an age of climate change. The farmers out here know it, the traditional owners, anyone who's studying the economy and the transition that all the other major economies around the world are making understands this is a fool's proposition. We don't have to turn up the earth and keep putting coal on boats to turn a buck. This is a line in the sand. We're going to stop Adani. We're going to transition our economy. This will be stopped. Great Barrier Reef and I can tell you it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. But we know that climate change, among other things, is in fact killing this reef. This is just one of the reasons we need to stop Adani. Stop Adani. Save the reef. We did it. Queensland, Adani, massive. What an epic quest. Whew. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. So you want to get involved? You want to help stop Adani? Here's five things you can do. One, take direct action. Get up to Queensland. Two, donate. Three, join a Stop Adani group. Four, write to your MP. And five, like Frontline Action on Coal on Facebook. Stop Adani. Get involved.